Hey everybody, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. This week we are testing the 2025 Volkswagen Jetta GLI. And so we've got it in the garage. We're gonna pop the hood, have a good look under there, take a tour. I'm gonna to outline all of the major technical features as well as the do-it-yourself maintenance checkpoints. The two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine in the 2025 Volkswagen Jetta GLI is the generation three of the brand's venerable E888 powerhouse that's been around for some time. It's not the more updated and more modern Generation 4 version that we find in most other contemporary Volkswagen models. In the Jetta GLI Autobahn that we've got here, output is rated at 228 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and 258 pound-feet of torque from 1,500 RPM. Though we have a six-speed manual model here, it's available also with a six-speed DSG automatic as well. The e engine construction still starts with a relatively old-fashioned iron block that pays off in the noise, the vibration, and the harshness department. It does have thin wall casting that allows sections of the block to be less than an eighth of an inch thick, so it's still pretty lightweight. The crossflow cylinder head is cast aluminum, though, with dual overhead cams, both with variable timing capability, and there's also variable valve lift. The exhaust manifold is cast into the head, allowing its turbocharger to bolt directly to it. Exhaust thus benefits from water cooling, which lowers the temperatures by up to 160 degrees, allowing for a leaner fuel mixture. This and the shorter route to the compressor gives the engine less turbo lag and better fuel economy. Maximum boost pressure is 36 PSI. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts through a wide intake plenum across the radiator support, then into a filter box up front on the driver's side. From there, it heads over to the turbocharger at the rear of the engine, easily seen from above. Once boosted, the air charge then goes up to an air-to-air -air intercooler ahead of the radiator down below the front bumper, and then back up to a drive-by-wire throttle body and composite intake manifold at the front of the engine. Heading into the combustion chamber, the air charge is mixed with fuel from direct injection. Injectors hidden down below the plastic intake manifold. Injecting the fuel directly into the cylinders, the system operates at extremely high pressures of 2,900 PSI to assure optimum atomization. If you've had your head under the hood of any 2-liter Volkswagen in the past decade, this should look pretty familiar as the engine bay really hasn't changed that much at all, nor has the engine. Servicing this is actually pretty straightforward in spite of the fact that this is one tightly packed engine compartment. DIY maintenance starts with the windshield washer fluid, which is at the driver's side front of the engine bay in plain sight. Bright blue cap. The air filter is also right up front, though you will need tools to get into the box. No easy pop clips here. The brake fluid reservoir is found at the driver's side firewall as expected. Not expected on top of a conventional master cylinder instead of a more modern electronically controlled brake pump of late. The 12 volt battery is just ahead of that, the ECU next to it, and the main fuse block all the way to the right. Opening that up is easy peasy and a fuse removal tool can be found under the lid. On the passenger side you'll find the oil filler cap at the left end of the engine, the bright yellow oil dipstick just ahead of that. My favorite part here is that changing its cartridge style oil filter is also easy, as it's located right on top of the engine in plain sight. Lastly. The coolant reservoir is at the left, just ahead of the shock tower. Well, there you have it, an underhood tour for the 2025 Volkswagen Jetta GLI with the 2-liter e eight Generation 3 engine. Now, this is a car that's been in production for quite some time, as is. They've made some tweaks to it, some styling, and a couple of updates, but what's under the hood hasn't changed in a really, really long time. This engine's been around for a long time. But because this car is sort of at the end of its life cycle, it did not get the new Evolution 4 or Generation 4 e eight engine, which is sort of unfortunate because that's a good engine. It's got a lot of great stuff, a lot of improvements. And if you're looking at a new GTI or even some of the SUVs from Volkswagen, you get that engine, but not here. And so that's just one of the, one of the things with cars and, and their lifespans and how production works. But that said, this is still a very nice, well-refined engine. It's got plenty of power and it gets pretty good gas mileage considering the amount of performance it can offer. So yeah, Volkswagen Jetta. Now we do have a test drive on this vehicle. When it comes, you can see that right there. You can also subscribe to our channel right there if you really like this nuts and bolts stuff.